Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. For those of you who are new, my name is Sierra and welcome to my channel. And Buster just happens to be starting to eat right when I do my video. Gosh, ignore him. But Buster's here. As you can read from the title of the video, I am finally roasting my pinions that I did pick three weeks ago. So I have it here. And for those of you who don't follow me, here's a little B-roll of pinion picking. So yeah, I was able to pick some pinions and I've been wanting to roast these babies for three whole weeks and I just haven't I just haven't had the time and plus I know a couple people kept asking me to make sure that I show video of how I roast these so I was like you know what I can't roast it until I can make a video so today's the day I'm finally making a video and Buster's interrupting my video so let's cut okay are you done now yeah was that good? All right. I swear Buster is so freaking cute. So that's what we're gonna do today. And for those wondering what the Navajo word for pinyon is, it's neshchi. So that's what we're about to cook right now. And I just wanna say my way is not the right way. Everybody's taught differently. I know some people ro roast them on the stove top. Some people may do the oven. Some people may do the microwave oven. So it just depends what you're comfortable with and how you do yours. I guess let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna wash them. Let's open it up here. I don't wanna do the whole thing. You're just gonna rinse with water. So just rinse it thoroughly. Let it soak for a little bit. You can have a little drainer here. I normally would just dump this out, but I'm kind of curious to see how dirty this water is gonna be. Oh my gosh, it is black. Look at that. That's how dirty this water is. That's crazy. So obviously you're gonna rinse until your water's basically clear. Getting somewhere. All right, so I think this is good enough. Yeah, the water's still kind of yellow but I've washed it like freaking seven times already and I've been washing for about 10 minutes uh, let me give it one final rinse there we go it's pretty much washed so here we have our lovely pan we're just gonna turn this on and we're gonna pour our pinion in there for those of you who may not know, um, pinions primarily grow in primarily in New Mexico, um, some places in Arizona and Colorado, so it just depends. But mainly in the Four Corners area, I would say, or the Four Corner states. Sometimes you'll find little uh, little pine pine needles in here. Just kind of pick it out. Okay. There we have that. And then I'm going to use, use a wooden spoon to steer, stir. For those that want to correct me. <laughs> okay, there we have it. And you're just going to continuously mix it. Continuously mix. you want to evenly roast it and then now we're gonna sample one here 
So I cracked it open and it's a little brown. Get in there. Ah! I think it's getting hot. One popped. I got scared. So to avoid the popping, you just gotta steer it. <laughs> ah! You just gotta steer. What the heck? I don't know if my pan's too hot or what, but let me turn it down. You wanna like slow roast it. Burn it. <laughs> oh shoot, that's hot. Alright, be careful. Alright, it's about done. So what you want to do, some people may or may not do this, but to add flavor, you're going to salt it. So what I like to do is add a little bit of water, add like just a little, like a half cup, just enough to get them all, all wet. So once they're all wet, you're going to add your salt, just from a salt shaker like this, you're just going to add salt. However much you want to add. All right, I'm gonna turn turn it off. And when you turn it off, you don't want to stop stirring because the pan is hot, and you don't want it to burn. And I know I keep seeing I keep saying stirring, stirring. That's just how I say stir. Okay, I say stirring. And there you have it. And then you can add salt, like I said, as much as you want. Some of it falls out and just. Um, gets to the bottom of the pan so it might not it might look like I'm adding on a lot of salt but it's just getting to the bottom look as you can see just keep stirring just keep stirring so I probably cooked it for like 10 minutes I think we're good on the salt now. All right, let me try one. Oh yeah. All right, I think it's pretty much safe to say that the pan is no longer hot and the pinions are done. They're nice and salted. Let's try one. All right, so here we have the pinyon, and I'm gonna try basically a little handful. Someone once said pinyon is like Navajo sunflower seeds, and I was like, that's what it is because you crack it open like a sunflower seed, eat the inside, spit out the shell. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's been a while since I had some of these. The shell. Inside of pinyon goes down, but super good, you guys. And pinyons are, like I said, southwest thing. It takes about four to five years for them to grow within a certain area. So the place that we picked at for the pinyon, you probably won't get pinyons there until another four to five years, if that makes sense. Mm. I haven't had pinyons since like two years ago, I think, something like that. Some good pinyon. I did a good job. So yeah, that's basically how I roast my pinyon. And I know, like I said, some people do it in the microwave, some people do it in the oven. Some people do it on the stove top like me, just how I was taught. Just depends, you know, what you're comfortable with and what you were taught. So let me know in the comments if you do anything different. I'm gonna enjoy these and who knows when I'm gonna have pinyons again. And let me know if you guys cook it a different way or any other tips that you may have. Let me know in the comments because I would like to hear it. I have a little bit left. So that's a little bag I have left. I was kind of debating trying like garlic flavor. I don't know how that would work out, but that's just kind of something I was thinking like garlic salt. 
not sure if I'm gonna try it, but let me know if anybody has any other flavors that they have tried. I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to like the video and, well, thumbs up is a like, but make sure to subscribe if you if you're not subscribed. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye! Let's get Jeff's reaction. It's like a sunflower seed. <laughs> Gotta get that crack. <laughs> yeah, nice and warm. Pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. Does Jeff approve? There you have it. That would be Spanish. Yummy.